The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have backed an end to the use of beagles in animal testing and called for the closure of facilities being used to breed the dogs. Meghan and Harry have adopted a seven-year-old beagle called Mamma Mia, who was one of 4,000 dogs rescued from a biomedical research site in Virginia. Now, in just a moment, we'll speak to the women on a mission to close a similar site in the UK and rescue the dogs inside. Uh, before we do that, we're going to speak to Shannon Keith. We go to America to speak to her. She's project director at the Beagle Freedom Project. And uh, as I understand it, Shannon, you had a role in Meghan and Harry's new edition. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. How important was it that Meghan and Harry... Uh, rescued or adopted Mamma Mia? Oh, absolutely critical. They're making such a statement by adopting such a, a special needs dog who came from such horrific circumstances. Uh, <laughs> there she is, sweet Mamma Mia, a seven-year-old beagle who came from a breeding and testing facility. She was born in a laboratory, subjected to horrific experiments, being bred over and over again for seven years, her puppies stolen from her and sold to testing. And what a great thing they did by uh, adopting a special needs dog like her and adopting a mother. Most people just want the puppies and um, they did a great thing by adopting her. Well, Shannon, we are here obviously in London talking about uh, what is going on uh, in Cambridgeshire. Now, the, the farm that Mamma Mia was rescued from was called Marshall Farms. Uh, in America, that is the company. Uh, here, they're known as MBR Acres. And what I want to do is read their, their lengthy um, uh, right of reply on this. And then I want you and our guests in studio, Rosemary Reed, founder of The Power of Dogs. Very good to see you, Rosemary. And solicitor advocate Jill McGivern, uh, who joins us as well. MBR Acres is a fully licensed as a specialist laboratory animal breeder that raises dogs to be content in a lab environment. Most will be used to satisfy the requirements of the medicines regulator, that potential new treatments for conditions like cancer and diabetes are safe, our animals are happy, healthy and well cared for as evidenced by inspection reports from the Home Office. This is part of what they said and I'll read more of what they said very shortly, but that's what they say. You're now going to look, we're going to show you some undercover filming of what MBR say are happy, healthy, and well cared for animals. Now, maybe the thing you've really got to hear here is the, the sound of all of this and the yelping. Oh, apparently there is no sound on this. I don't know why well, that I is. Well, I mean, we can describe the sound. I've sound is horrifying. All of this footage, and all you horrifying. can hear is, is puppies shrieking and, and quite clearly in distress. And not only that, walking around and in some cases eating each other's defecation. Um, they're on their own for something like 15 hours a day. And this has then been sent then off to the labs to be, to be tested. To be tested. Yeah. Let's bring in Rosemary Reed now um, from Power of Dogs. What would you like to say? Because um, there are people outside who protest about this and they've done it for many, many years and mm. media moves on and media doesn't seem <laughs> to be interested. You've got to watch film like that to have a real opinion. Yes, indeed. Um, I was approached by a friend of mine uh, who asked me to get involved and support the closure of MBR Acres. And from the first, from the, the, the first off, the thing that has always stuck with me is the sound of, if you stand outside MBR Acres, the haunting sound of all those dogs inside that are obviously very distressed. Yeah. I then thought, what can I do? How can I get involved? How can I help those campaigners that are 24-7 outside MBR? And I reached out. Uh, we both came together, Jill and I, um, and we discussed a plan of a way forward because these dogs are bred at uh, MBR and from the age of 16 weeks old, they're taken to laboratories, tested on with the most despicable... Oh, the pictures we've seen, we can't, we can't show. Sure, it's despicable. Bleach going down their throat and things. Jill McGivern, however, there is no... Is there a suggestion that there's any illegality here? I mean, we can... There's a moral stance on all of this, but is there anything illegal? Aidan, that is the really tragic thing here, because what MBR Acres are doing is licensed by our government, and that therefore makes it lawful.
but it is wholly unnecessary and I think a great many people don't actually know that uh, we are bound by regulations in this country which require us to test any potential new medicine on two species. But it is also the case that if there is an alternative to testing that potential medicine, not on an animal, we should do that. And yet the Home Office never enforce that. They don't oversee it. And parliamentary questions which have been asked over the last two years have shown that every single licence that has been granted by the Home Office to breed and to torture those dogs has been granted without any consideration, not for a second of the fact, that we no longer need to torture these animals because we have cutting-edge science. We could lead the world in this country using this cutting-edge science, which means we no longer need to do that. And this is, two, this is over three million animals a year. Well, MBR is saying the fact that animals are still used in research means that a suitable, validated alternative does not yet exist. Shannon Keith, are you any further down the road in the USA of bringing this sort of practice to an end? We have amazing alternatives like organs on a chip or growing skin. Um, we just closed down the horrific facility that Mamma Mia was from. And so we're excited to be partnering with these amazing women and um, bringing this knowledge and this uh, amazing activity to the UK as well with Beagle Freedom Project UK. So we think that with all of this combined, um, this is a great thing that we can actually campaign for and do in the UK. Um, I want to ask you, Rosemary, I mean, there's this talk about if you bring in a new medicine or drug to treat human illnesses, it needs to be tested on two species. Why does one of those species need to be an animal that is a pet? You know, why a beagle? You know, why not artificial so intelligence? Why not a exactly. computer? But, you yeah. know, exactly. what is it about beagles specifically? And, and what are you campaigning for? Is there a petition to try and liberate these There dogs? is. Beagles, as you probably know, as a dog lover, are the most gentlest and forgiving of all dogs. That is why they are specially chosen. No matter what abuse a human gives them, they'll come back with love and wanting you to give them cuddles. And the, the, uh, But... You know, for us, we will just want MBR, this, as a start, to shut down. These animals are left on their own from 5 o'clock in the evening till 7 o'clock the next day. They have no proper... Uh, they have no toys. They live in filth. They have food that drops out, which goes on the floor where they have excrement. It's, it's a disgrace, the way they're being kept. And there is no need for this to be happening. Yeah. Uh Rosemary describes it as a disgrace. MBR Acres say we remain proud of what we do every day because our work allows the progress of medicine to improve. Jill, what are you calling for? Or do you say that, you know, this is just not in 2022, this is just not the way we need to do things anymore? It absolutely isn't. And if they use the word progress, let us look at the world in which we live. Let us look at the diseases and conditions which kill all of the people we know and love. Yeah. Heart disease, cancer, dementia. There are no cures yet. Everyone will lose a loved one as a result of those conditions. And there are no cures because we are testing on animals and it doesn't work. But we can now, in this day and age, say we don't need to do it because the science is there now, as you say. Organ on a chip. The John Hopkins uh, University in the States, they are doing phenomenal research. They are moving closer to cures because they are not torturing animals. Uh, Shannon Keith, just final word from you. Uh, what the um, Sussexes are, are doing here by adopting um, this beagle, what do you think this does? Why is that important? It sends a message. It sends a message that this cruelty needs to end. It's unethical. And <laughs> there she is again, sweet mama mia. Um, and that people need to look at what's going on around in society. People need to shop cruelty-free. People need to get on board to stop animal testing. It is not scientifically valid, and it's unethical, and it just plain needs to stop. And if these wonderful people are adopting this wonderful dog and are in support of this, everybody else should be in support of it too. There is just simply no need. Let's end this right now. Shannon Keith is from the Beagle Freedom Project.
project. Thank you very much indeed for your time and for highlighting this. Um, in studio, Rosemary Reed, founder of The Power of the Dog. She's got a petition. Look that up, The Power of the Dog. And Jill McGovern is a solicitor advocate as to the legality of all of this. And unfortunately, it is legal as endorsed by our government. Get in touch with your MP, see Thank what they you. have to say about this. The real tragedy about what we showed today is that it had no sound because that's what you needed to hear. Yeah. And also, we can't show you the pictures from the actual laboratories which carry out the tests. Mm. They force animals to smoke cigarettes, mm. smoke, uh, inhale cigarette yeah. smoke. Yeah, and these are animals that are bred in captivity, that they never see a blade of grass or no. feel a uh -huh. drop of rain. But they get bleach put down their throat. Mm. Uh, and they have all sorts of cosmetics tested on and them, all whatever. They want is love. Rosemary, I've tried to describe it as best I can. Do you just have in 15 seconds some way just to sub the horror of all of this up? It is horror. It's, it's something that is a, a, a country of so called dog lovers. This should not be going on in this country. Okay. But it is going on in Witten, in Cambridgeshire, MBR Acres. And, and to the people who are out there protesting, Jill, anything you would. And they've done it for a long time without much recognition. Eamon, they are heroes. They've already been through one winter, sleeping at the side of the road in silent yep. prayer to save those animals which are being bred on rotation. They are heroes. But I thank you, Eamon, so much for saying yes. to the people listening to you today, please contact your MP. We're moving through to a general election. If people out there, now that you've brought this to their attention, do contact their MP and say, change this. We can change it. We should change it. May I ask if they go on to the Paradox and sign the petition, petition. Yes, on social media. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.